Yvette Rivera, if you're ready. Your three minutes start now. Morning, and I brought documents for the board members. Today, um, this afternoon, the four remaining board members that didn't get the documents, uh, they should have gotten that by now. And it's old documents that I allege, I say that basically are the same templates that are being brought up now with the DIO or the DEI um, strategic plan. Uh, in these documents, it talks about the same internship program, and this is in 2000 and 2006, and the strategic plan, I think, is it's 2003. Um, the document that was the most important document I gave this morning was the one that says affirmative action and equal opportunity, because it lists <laughs> a tally of all the complaints that are followed the district. Some, so for some reason, there was a little bit more transparency before, but the general counsel's office, before Derek McDonald's in, the general counsel's office decided that maybe it was too much of a liability to show how much racism and discrimination and retaliation happens at the district. Well, I'm providing you that document in hopes that this board directs Mr. Derek Moten to restart the tracking of that and the publication of that. So that's number one. Number two, I provided the district um, uh, Saji Pierce's opposition to a determination letter. I'm just gonna read a line right now. It was uh, submitted by East Bay Mud in federal court recently. Um, this is what employees have to do when the district says that they didn't do anything wrong. This is just one line from it. Uh, these complaints about Craig's conduct towards Anna show that it wasn't just the frequency or excessive length of Craig's visits to Anna's office that made people uncomfortable, but Craig's creepy tone and attitude towards Anna. Yet the determination focuses solely on the frequency of his visits and despite acknowledging them as being atypical, goes on, goes to great efforts to excuse them. That's just one line of a determination that I have a PDF of. I dropped off a tort complaint before this board meeting. Um, and the first line of that, I'm not even gonna read it. It's a public document. I provided a tort complaint to the risk management department. And just to give you an idea of what part of that tort complaint is about, this is a performance appraisal that, that David Briggs, Tony Montano, David Carlson, and Ed Betancourt, Betancourt ratified. Um, it contains letters of recommendation or at least citing my excellent service, but none of that mattered. Um, I also provided information that they didn't include in my appraisal. Um, I'm just gonna end by saying the Shante Scott case settled for $65,000, for $65,000, despite the district saying that they had a winning case to the public. I still haven't received who said that to the news. Every one of us knows when an agency gets sued, the public face always says, we can't comment because of a lawsuit. But the district is different. They'll use you, Director Linney, to forward a comment that was completely inappropriate about the Saji Pierce and uh, the Bland case. Your three minutes have concluded if you could wrap and up your comments. I'm gonna be asking for all of the money that was spent to fight the Shante Scott uh, case. I'll put that, I'll submit that request today. Thank you for your time, I, I yield. Do we have any other?